Hey there, guys. Tyler Soaks, aka the Gaming Guy TWG, and welcome to part 25, aka the gameplay finale of SpongeBob's Trick or Square. In the last episode, we quickly got through the Tiki challenges of the final level, surprisingly, and saw the effects of the uh, objects giving us huge amounts of happiness nuggets. Now, Patrick has the final boss battle ready and willing for us, so let's get into it. I like how he changes his face. What the heck? Patrick didn't even say anything. It just switched to him holding his stomach and then it changed back to SpongeBob. Alrighty, guys. All the memories, all the, um, the glitch from part number 20, all the fails, all the rage, all that stuff will always be remembered throughout this let's play as i said in creature from the crusty crab thank you for supporting me through this let's play and hopefully you guys will do the same for future let's plays which i already have let's play number three ready and uh ready to go after this i said i was going to do it after sonic shorts but i didn't really want to get too hung up over videos uh-huh all of that was spongebob's imagination that entire party all the happiness nuggets, all the happiness objects, and everything. It was basically just like Creature from the Krusty Krab, if you come to think of it. It was all just a dream, or hallucination, or whatever you want to say. So, Creature from the Krusty Krab and Church or Square had, like, the same plot structure. There's the final boss battle. Basically, what happens in that cutscene, Spongebob wakes up, and then the chum bucket turns into a giant robot that starts rampaging through Bikini Bottom, as you see right here. But this final boss battle is basically easy. Look around for these crates as they have ammo for your uh, cannon bla uh, cannon shot and stuff like that. But make sure to jump ahead of Robot Plankton as he'll start destroying the buildings that you're trying to jump on. So be careful. When you get to certain buildings like this where there's blockages, uh, this is where Robot Plankton will start firing robots and stuff at you. So basically all you have to do is just defeat the robots. And after you do that, Robot Plankton will destroy the giant building right there, and it'll crash through the Krusty Krab uh, signs, of all things. And then Plankton will destroy the... well, I thought he would. Okay, so what you need to do when you get to the end here, what you basically need to do is jump in this gum wand. Ah! That is, after you avoid all of the bomb bot par uh, projectiles. And basically what you do here is avoid getting hit by that, and then you hit the target on the fist, and then the robot plankton will start malfunctioning, then you hit the X on the mouth, and you'll literally be inside the freaking robot, destroying the heart of it. The literal heart of the robot. Look out for the muscle bot buff pants power-ups, because they, uh, they will help you get through this, uh... They will help you get through this final boss battle way faster, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. These things take four hits when you don't have muscle bot buff pants, but you will have it later. Then basically what you do, you keep attacking the heart or the core as the fish, uh, fish announcer likes to call it. And then you damage one of the light bulbs. After this, you go into the robot two more times and when you're finished damaging the core, something amazing happens as far as happiness nuggets and stuff like that and lives. Right here, he'll, uh, he'll start destroying all of the buildings you're trying to jump across. So make sure to get through there, uh, get through there, and hide tail your butt out of there as fast as possible. Now you'll always see these crusty crab signs when you know that the robot plank is gonna start firing robots at you. This time the big boys start coming into play, so you're really gonna have to watch in this, uh, in this uh, bunch of robots. We have over three thousand happiness nuggets. Alrighty. And, uh, part of the extras, like in Creature from the Krusty Krab, are going to be the cheats. So, I will look up the cheats online, and then I will get back to you guys on that. I will create a cheat list. And I don't think the cheat list is really even that long for, uh, Church or Square. 
anyway, we're uh, getting ready to go inside the robot for the second time. And like I said, look around. Uh, when you go into the robot for the second time, start looking around for the uh, for the um, muscle bot butt pants palette. And like I, uh, like you did the first time, and like you will do the third time, hit the target on the hand, and then hit the X on the mouth, and you'll be back inside the robot again. If you look out there, you can see the robot plankton. What uh, you can see what the robot chum bucket sees. See. Remember, in the final boss battle, these things are beneficial, because look how fast you can destroy the little machines all around the place. You can even take out giant robots in a flash. Hey, there's a life in here. Ugh, move. Missed. Uh, and you can destroy the core really fast this way. So just, uh... Hopefully you can, um, hopefully you can maintain your muscle bot butt pants power up throughout this part. But if you can't, there's uh, there's crates around. I think in the final boss, uh, in the final part, this is where he destroys all the buildings, huh? Like dominoes. Um, there's crates around that will give you the muscle bot butt pants power up if you end up losing it. The reason why they give you one right here is because you have to start fighting the robots again. But with the muscle bot butt pants power up, as you know, it is easy to destroy the big boys. Those guys are gone like in 10 seconds. Literally 10 seconds. So basically on this one you want to jump on that spring, avoid that building, and I just lost my freaking muscle bob. And then go ahead giant plankton again, because uh, or the giant chum bucket robot, whatever you want to call it, because he'll start destroying all the buildings again like dominoes. And there's no muscle bob butt pants, so we're gonna have to get it once we go back inside the robot. But like the past two times, just avoid all the uh, bomb bot projectiles. And then avoid giant plankton's giant fist. After you hit it, jump on the gum wand. Hit the X. Hit the X. There you go. And now you're back in there. Now find the muscle bot butt pants power up and you're okay to go. As you can see the core is about all the way destroyed. So let's just hurry up and destroy these machines. Get these robots out of our face. Okay, there we go. Do, 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 do. And the first time you'll have to go through uh, destroying the core and the robots without the muscle bot butt pants power up, I think. Anyway, the core is destroyed and we won, guys. Church or Square is done and over with. While the robot plankton may shoot us back out, we get a huge freaking amount of happiness nuggets, about 500 or more. Holy sweet Jesus. Along with who knows how many lives, that is freaking incredible. And here's the final cutscene right here. SpongeBob! What is this? Some kind of mutiny? Why aren't you flipping patties for the big celebration? Hey look, the sea needle guys, we're at the sea needle to end off. Ironic, right? Yeah, and just like I said, well like creature from the Krusty Krab, it has like a dream state sort of plot. See the sea needle back there behind the plankton head? Moments later. Sorry about that. I tried sounding like the French narrator. If you guys think those are cheat codes, numbers for a cheat code, they're really not. Uh, so the whole time we were searching for nothing, basically, too, because it was just Mr. Krabs' lottery ticket. Oh, and I hate that. It skips the cutscenes when you go to the uh, when you press the home button. 
What happens is that the for is that the formula ends up being in Mr. Krabs' back pocket for the whole entire freaking game. Anyway, guys, thank you. That is the end of SpongeBob's Truth or Square, and it ends in a disappointing way, in my opinion. But it was still a great game overall. Thank you to all my subscribers. I gained 20 subscribers while uh, trying to finish up this. Um, uh, while trying to finish up this let's play and Patrick is roaming around like an idiot like always So, uh, yeah, thank you guys Uh, random effects are gonna happen throughout the credits by the way like that Anyway, thank you guys For giving me 20 subscribers as I tried to continue this let's play over time I thank you for all your patience all your support and hopefully fu uh, I will thank the future supporters right now as of right now, I have 21 subscribers, so thank you guys very much. Um, this is not the complete end of SpongeBob Strict or Square. This is only the end of the gameplay. As you know, I will be creating bonus videos of the content from the Krabby Kitty Meals, along with all the effects of every happiness object and the cheat codes, and a little bit more. So, guys, uh... Unfortunately, we don't have enough time to watch the credits because I'm pretty sure my phone's about to run out of space. But anyway, guys, this is Tyler Sucks, aka The Game Guy TWG. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And thank you for liking, commenting, uh, commenting and subscribing. And for buying, playing, and beat of the game like we have since day number one. Thank you, guys. From the bottom of my heart. Join me next time when we start the extras videos of SpongeBob's Truth or Square. I'm not going to do my closing right now. I'm just going to let the credits play until my phone runs out of space. Thank you, guys. Um, one last thing though guys, I said I was gonna cut out my voice for the rest of the credits, but do you notice what this song is? I'm not gonna tell you guys. If you know what the song is that it's playing right now in the credits, let me know down in the comments. Alright guys. Or what songs it's playing anyway. Alright guys, peace. Okay, I'll just come out and say it. It's the songs from Battle for Bikini Bottom. There, are you happy? Sorry, I just couldn't contain that. <laughs>